And we're back with former state representative and mayoral candidate Steve Carter, who we know now will face incumbent Sharon Weston Broom in a runoff just next month. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Well, Broom was just two points shy of winning outright last night, and you took in less than half of those remaining votes. Does that concern you at all? Well, uh, the way I look at it is the glass is either half full or half empty. I look at it as half full. The reason I say that is in order for her to win, she has to have 50 plus one. And she's the incumbent, and she did not get that, which means that the over 50% of the people may not be happy with the way things are going. So that's why I enter the picture. And uh, I think our message uh, resonated pretty well. Uh, we talked about a lot of things that we think that we need to do to improve the quality of life of the citizens of our area. And uh, apparently people bought into it. And so uh, I'm here to continue to move forward and, and uh, spread the word about who we are, what we're doing, and, and I'm looking forward to it and excited about it. So more specifically, though, if we break down sort of the election results last night, you received less than 10 percent of the vote in 123 precincts and zero votes across 11 precincts. Does that concern you? Well, obviously it does, but uh, that's the past. We, we will look at that, digest it, see where we are, and go back in and do a better job. Obviously, we didn't do a good job in some areas, uh, but it's very difficult when you're running along a big, uh, in a parish wide, it, it, and with the pandemic and everything, it's totally changed the dynamics of politics. Uh, I, I love knocking on doors. I couldn't do that. It was very difficult if you did. Um, I enjoy having gatherings where I bring people together and talk. Uh, I, we couldn't do that. So there were certain areas I'm sure that we need to do a better job with, but you're limited because of the pandemic. So do you have any specific ideas on how you'll change your campaigning over the next four weeks? Well, again, we need to get the word out. It, uh, the, this particular election is going to be different than the runoff. And the reason I say that, with the presidential, you see the numbers, you see the excitement. All of a sudden, you drop down to where it's a local, basically, a parish-wide, and a lot of times the numbers drop. Uh, maybe you end up with 35. You'd like to get 40 percent. I'd love to get what we had before. I mean, this is great because people are interested. They're back involved in politics. They're back involved in, in policy and what have you. But tradition shows it'll, it'll fall off. So I've been in the, having been in the legislature for 12 years uh, and I ran for the Senate, a large portion of the parish I have already walked or I've talked to people with or they've received mailers or whatever it might be. So I'd like to think that I'm not in bad shape as far as name recognition is concerned. But we have to do a better job of getting the word out to those areas that you were talking about. And we have to uh, make sure that we home in on the areas where in the last election in 2016, those people voted or didn't vote. And we have to identify those and, and do a good job of getting the word out to those areas. So real quickly, let's talk about your platform. Because last night, Sharon Weston Broom, in her closing remarks after the election, she said that you plan to take money away from Breck and you plan to take money away from the libraries. And she called it a money grab. Do you have a response for that? Sure. Uh, you know, in order to, to give the police a pay raise, in order to do the things that we need to do, uh, either with flooding or if there are other areas that we need to improve and make sure uh, that we, because you're my boss, you're the taxpayer. I've got to service my customer. I've got to make sure that everybody feels comfortable that they're getting the best bang for their buck. But it takes money. So I'm going to look at all areas. I'm going to look at the budget, obviously, and sit there areas where we're not spending the dollars like we should. I'm going to hold people accountable. I'm going to do the things that are necessary to ensure that feel, people feel comfortable with their tax dollars and be, feel comfortable about the way life is going inside of our city so people will blend together, work together, care for each other, and other people want to move into our city. So I'm going to look at whatever dollars I can to make sure that I do the things that are necessary, particularly from a police standpoint, to make people feel secure and safe inside our city. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Carter, for being here with us this morning and getting up early. I know last night was probably a little bit of a late night, so yep. we will probably see you back here again sometime over the next four weeks. Of course, that runoff is set for December 5th. This is Fox 44 First Edition. We're going to have a check of the weather and more election headlines when we return.